So I'm Jeremy and I'll be informing you on concussions today. So the reason why you need to know about concussions is that everyone is susceptible to a, cut, a concussion. You can just fall down walking. Anybody who walks can fall down walking, hit their head, get a concussion. If you are ever in a car, if you get in a car accident, you can get a concussion. And any type of trauma, somebody comes up behind you, punches you in the back of the head, concussion. So a concussion is also known as a traumatic brain injury. And there are 10 types of traumatic brain injuries. And a concussion is considered a mild traumatic brain injury because it's non-life-threatening. You can't die from a concussion. So approximately 1.7 million people in America get a concussion each year. So that's another reason why you need to know about concussions because the percentage of people that get them is very, very high. So like I said earlier, you can get a concussion from blunt force trauma or something called impulsive forces. So in your... Oh, I got it, right? Oop, so, bear with me right here. So say this is, this is your skull, your skull. And then inside your skull, you have your brain, right? And then all around here in this area outside is something called your cerebral spinal fluid. And what that fluid does is protects your brain from making contact with your skull. So if I were to go up and to you know, hit Sedan in his, in his head, that fluid is what's protecting his brain. So what happens during concussion is this fluid, the impact is so hard, this fluid cannot protect your brain from impacting the deep part of your skull. So during a concussion, what happens is your head, your brain shakes so rapidly and so hard that it hits the inner part of the skull and that impact is what causes the damage to the brain that affects you. So you can just get hit in the head and that'll cause your brain to move and you'll get a concussion. Or there's what I said, impulsive forces. So if you're in a car and you have your seatbelt on and you get in a car accident, your head will move forward so fast, your skull will move faster than your brain will. So your skull goes, your brain is going, and then your skull comes back and makes contact with your brain. So it doesn't have to be a direct impact to cause a concussion. Um, some symptoms of concussions are, of course, headaches, lightheadedness, dizziness, uh, loss of memory, uh, trouble with motor skills like talking, balance, uh, stuff like that. Um, there are a few ways to diagnose. Uh, one is called the Grasco Coma Scale, which measures the ability to speak, open your eyes, and function properly. There's also a speech test, so whether you can speak properly, grammar, vocab, whether you can read or write. So if you can read and then all of a sudden you can't read, can't write, probably a concussion. And then there's also the speech and language test, so basically the same thing, you can speak, you can understand what people are saying. You understand social cues as well. And then there's also the image test where the doctor takes a uh, picture of your brain. So there is only one way to cure a concussion, and that would be rest. There's no medication, there's no surgery, there's nothing anybody can do. You just have to rest, lie in the dark. You want to avoid you know, heavy thinking, you want to avoid uh, excessive exercise, stuff like that. And then if you do rehab properly and rest properly, you will recover within approximately you know, 10 to 14 days. But if you don't, and you don't recover after 30 days, you have something totally different, which is called post-concussion syndrome. So post-concussion syndrome is all the same effects. They may vary in intensity, and that can last anywhere from six months to years. So that can last for a very long time. So a few things that you can do to prevent concussions is of course, if you're playing football, you're playing hockey, um, you're riding a horse, you wanna wear a helmet because that will protect. It doesn't prevent concussions, but it will help reduce your chances of getting one. 
Um, also, if you're in a car, of course, wear your seatbelt. And then be careful, you know, walking around your house, uh, know where stairs are, where potential falling hazards are. And that is concussion.